Dubai Crown Prince Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and first deputy ruler of Dubai Sheikh Maktoum bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum recently visited the Emirates Group headquarters. The airline's president Sir Tim Clark briefed them about where the iconic brand will be heading in the future. As they look forward, let's look back at how far Emirates Airlines has come. In 1984, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, then the UAE's Minister of Defence and a member of Dubai's royal family, asked Sir Maurice Flanagan, then Managing Director of Dinata, to look into starting an airline. The name Emirates was chosen by December of that year. Flanagan was given five months and ten million dollars of seed funding in 1985. He was told that the airline had to look good, be good, and make money. And on October 25th that year, Emirates took off for the first time. Flying to Karachi and Mumbai, they operated a Boeing 737 and an Airbus 300B4 wet lease from Pakistan International Airlines. It was only two years later that Emirates flew from Toulouse to Dubai with its first owned aircraft. Their destinations during that first year were Dubai, Mumbai, Delhi, and Karachi. By the end of the 80s, this grew to 14 cities, including Jeddah, Amman, and Frankfurt. Dubai International Airport went through a major makeover in 1992, and Emirates moved into a new $2 million departure terminal. In 1992, Emirates became the first airline to introduce telecommunications on an Airbus in all three classes. This would be the precursor to the passenger favorite ICE in-flight entertainment system. Dubai International's new Terminal 2 opened in 1998, serving 2 million passengers per year. Emirates grew its network to 50 cities by the end of the 90s, adding destinations like London Gatwick, Hong Kong, and Paris. The Sheikh Rashid Terminal opened in 2000, increasing Dubai International's capacity to 22 million passengers a year. Emirates would also make history in 2005, ordering 42 Boeing 777s for 9.7 billion dollars, the largest deal ever of its kind made at the time. Today. Emirates is the world's biggest operator of the craft. DXB opened the Emirates dedicated Terminal 3 in 2008, with half a million passengers departing within just the first month of its operation. Concourse A, the world's first purpose-built A380 facility, opened at Dubai International in 2013, expanding the airport's capacity to 75 million per year. Home to Emirates A380 fleet. It featured dedicated Emirates first and business class lounges. This was a time when the airline received multiple international awards. In 2014, Emirates was named the world's most valuable airline brand and the Middle East's most valuable brand by Brand Finance, with an estimated value of 3.7 billion dollars. It was named the world's best airline at the Skytrax World Airline Awards in 2016. In 2019, over 540 volunteer passengers from 145 nationalities took off on Emirates flight EK 2019, breaking the Guinness World Record for the most nationalities on an aircraft. Today, Emirates remains the world's largest international airline, carrying 19.6 million passengers in 2022 and flying to 158 destinations. The group reported its most profitable year ever in 2023 with a record annual profit of 3 billion dollars.